morning guys I'm here today I've got three hours basically um, first signal within two steps we're at 22 and I've dug it because it, it was flicking about a bit um, so I dug it out without filming thing and I think I've seen somewhat round but that don't mean out does it just there can you see it So, what we got? Just a button, I think, in it. Oh, can't see. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, first signal. Button. Yeah, there you go. So, this is the field I got the Commonwealth silver in. So, I'm hoping to get some nice stuff. I'm on multi two at the moment on Legend in field. Recovery 4, and iron filter's about 4 as well. But I'm thinking of going to 15 or 20 single kilohertz to just try and see what happens. So I shall let you know. Okay, dogs, let's get on. Hey, guys. Got a nice signal here. 42, 43. Let's see, um, whatever we are. Let's see what it is. Well, guys, false alarm. But what it was, were another one of these. If you watched my last video, I dug one up similar. Look at that. Always wear your gloves. Yep, only about two inch down again. Right, let's get on. Right, guys, I've gone down to... Uh, well, I've gone to a 15 kilohertz single frequency because it's really noisy. I can't, I'm getting sounds hitting me from all over the place. And I've dug a few and they're just not there, you know what I mean? The false false signals. I've tried ground balancing, but it's quite high numbers. And I understand if it's really high numbers, you should just go to zero. Um, because when I've ground balanced and it's gone up to like 60 and 69, it just gets twice as bad as those false signals. So I've gone to 15. I've just dug a bit of foil. And I've got just got this one. I've got my LG35 on, as you can see. And now we're in 15 kilohertz. So I've just got this signal. That's a 46, 45. Wherever I go. Well, drops to maybe 43, 44 there. But. So. We're going to dig it. Let's see what we get. Bit of file probably. But hey, let's have a look. Well, all right, bit of file, but you know you dig them numbers all day. That beautiful signal, those numbers, you just don't know what it is, do you? But yeah, let's get on. Right, guys, I got to the top of the field, and I can't say I've had loads of great signals, so I thought I'll go back to multi-frequency, because I think I'm missing some of here. I bought a machine with multi-frequency, why have I got it in single? And first signal is that. No, oh, it's broke, obviously. But it's got a bit of a pattern on it, look. Round edge, completely hollow on the back. Nothing at all on the back. But, yeah, I'll take that. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what else we can get. Right, on to the next signal. It's a nice... Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Let's see what it is. Well, rubbish again. But you've got to dig a signal like that. You know what I mean? So let's get on there. Right, guys, I didn't film this because it was a lovely 35. Well, we're right, you know, non ferrous or is it Ferris? I keep, I bloody forget. Anyway, all the way to it right. The one with the ring on. <laughs> and But then I got another signal. That's, anyway, I thought it was a bit iffy, but look. No, it's not on. We've got some up there, look. So far today, it's been buttons. So, you know, let's have a look. That's as it's come out. Turn it over. And it's a coin. 
but very, very toasted. Yeah. Just a little, see if we can get out. It's like that one I got yesterday. Really, it looks really old. Oh, there's a crown or something there, look. Can you see that? So I'm not going to rub it anymore. I'm going to take it home and give it a gentle wash. I've got my water. Oh, this water ropey signal. Very ropey. It was really low numbers, 14, 15, 16, but a lovely, lovely sharp sound. But then I kept losing it and bring it back. Anyway, I dug it and we got this. Now, there's no one back, but I've had this little scrape about it back and I can see it's uh, shiny. And on this side, very black. Now, that could be some silver. Could be. I shall test it when I get home. But that certainly looks shiny in there. It could just be metal. I'm, I'm not getting giddy at all. But I have had stuff like this before that's been absolutely black. And, you know, give it the old spit and tin foil. And she comes up as silver. So let's see. All right. Let's hope that that's a bit of silver off this field. I don't know what it is. I just got the quietest 33 known to man. It was just there, I mean just there, saying it was super, super deep. And so I dug it out, a reasonably big hole, and it clawed with the grassing here, is now showing the 33. So guys, I'm going to have a look what it is. I'm going to try and do it live. I'm not very good at this, as you know, but we'll try. So we're in this clod. Probably going to be lead. Don't get excited. I'm not. Not yet. Where's she gone? What's that? Can you see it? There? Oh, it's a bloody stud or something. Oh well. It's somewhat a note. But hey, that was showing to be really deep and it was a really iffy signal. And it's just whatever that is. I mean it's made of metal, whatever it is, so it isn't a screw. So I don't know what it is. Well guys, as you can see a very deep hole. <laughs> Pulse dives 11 inch, so we're talking probably 10 inch down. And I've got me a musket ball. And I really like musket balls. So I'm really happy with that. I'm going to clean it off because my hands are really muddy. But yeah, musket ball. That'll do me. On to the next. But, yeah. That fantastic signal, bottom of there. Wow. So how long has that been there? <laughs> Good old legend. Let's get on. I got, I got a, a lovely signal here. Really, really nice eye tone. Beautiful signal it was. Um, but it kept getting mixed in with all sorts of crap. So I didn't film it because I thought it was just going to be lead or something. But I've got this out. Now, I have no idea what that is. I mean, it's green. It looks like it might have an hole in it, and it looks like there's something in there, something black. I don't really want to stick out in it yet, though. You know, I'll just put my knife and just scrape muck out. But there's something there, look. And possibly an hole. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It ended up being an absolutely stonking 39. All the way to the, uh, to the right on the ferris checker. But... There were other signals in there as well, but yeah, I've no idea what that is. If you know, give us a, a comment. I shall obviously give it a clean when I get back, and it'll be round up. But there you go. No idea. Let's get on. Well, guys, I'm on the hunt of a pesky little 23. <laughs> All the way to the right again. Let me just turn that off. I think I see it. I think it's here. 
I think it's probably just a rivet head or something. Yeah, another button. But yeah, pesky little 23 that was. Another little fire-all button. I've just found a fire-all button that I didn't film. But, uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll show it round up. Sometimes they have some nice things wrote on them these, don't they? You know, I found one that actually had local place name on it. So yeah, let's get on. <laughs> really ropey 17 there. All over the place it was. 17, 19, 15. Thinking, oh, should I? Anyway, I did. And look what we got. Now, I don't think it's a key. My first thought was a key. But it snapped off somewhat. There, look. Unless there's an hole there. That it, but there might be an hole there that's, that's, what is it, stuck up with muck. But how coat's that? I'll give it a little brush, but I'll give it a proper clean later. Nice. <laughs> Let's get on. Well, guys, last signal at day. I'm walking back to the car. I'm about 20 foot away from the gate. And I got a lovely little 2728, which is this. And so you're seeing it. Oh, it's a button. It's a big one. But it's a button. Well, that's my last signal. I'll be uh, going now. But yeah, I couldn't not dig that, could I? Beautiful signal. Right then, I think it's home. Bye. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. If you like our videos, it really does mean a lot to us if you push that subscribe button. It don't cost anything, and it means that whenever we upload new videos, you'll get them. Uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy watching them. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right then. Uh, I didn't do a roundup in field because, well, I, I very rarely do, because we always let, finish that late. It's pitch black. So these are the finds that come out of that dig. I were only there probably two and a half hours-ish. Um, but anyway, so I'll just go around. I won't go in order at film or not like that. This would basically last find. It was that big button. Really big thing. Completely toasted. No on it. But still still better than finding rubbish, you know. Uh, this was the coin that I got, which I thought I could see something on, but completely gone, as you can see. There's nothing there at all. I'll try and get it in light. Um, I don't know enough about coins to even have a guess. Um, I think it's smaller than a half penny, so it's maybe a farthing or something. Or I don't know. I really don't know. This is just a button. Again, no on it at all. Completely clear. Uh, looks quite old, but yeah, just a button. Musket ball. <clears throat> now it's a bit misshaped, but I think it's probably it somewhat. Um, I'm definitely going musket ball on that one. Pistol shot, you know. Um, it's smaller than the other one I found, which will be in a different video. Um, but, yeah, little musket bow. Um, this is quite interesting. It looks like a key, and probably is a key, I don't know. But the end of it, has, it's snapped off something. There's no hole there, so it's definitely snapped off here. So probably was a key for something. I don't know what. If you do know, please put it in comments. I'd love to know if anybody does know what it is. But it's a cool little find. Um, nice. I like that when I dug that up. These are little, just little faring, uh, far old buttons. Um, I can't really see much on them. There is some writing on this one, but I can't really make it out. Uh, but they're just shirt buttons or something like that. But again. Better than digging rubbish up. This is that little dome that I found, <clears throat> which I thought might have been silver. I've done the old spit and tin foil on it, and it didn't smell of anything. Uh, but yeah, I might try and just clean top of it and see what comes up. But at the moment, I'm having to say I don't know what that is. It's a little dome, probably off some sort of button or something. I, don't, I have no idea. And then this, which looks quite old. I've tried looking it up. Um, note seems to come up that looks like it. If again, if you know, please put it in comments. You know, let me know what you think it might be. Um, we've had some history off this field, so 
it could be old it could be very old um I, I, I don't know again and then this is the viking sword pommel is what i've been told it is from between ad 900 and ad 1100 i've got a thing up on computer in front of me which says it's early medieval sword pommel the length of it is about exactly the same as this one hollow with a flat base it's not quite flat it's a little bit rounded uh, the pommel's five lobes which it has you can see um, triangular form and paste at top to go over the tang which it is uh, I've got a picture which I'm going to flash up on video of the British Museums database which have one which is I mean it could be this one so that picture should be coming up straight after this uh, roundup which is finished now I am showing you the rubbish because it's rubbish you know um, if there's no interest in rubbish then I'll show you but I've cleaned it all up and as far as I can see there's no interest in so I'm not going to bother showing it so again thank you for watching um, we will be back on that field at some point before Christmas so hopefully we'll find some nice stuff uh, I'll act to thank you for watching I would love you to subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button as well please uh, none of it costs anything it's all completely free and it just means a lot to us that we know people are watching and people are enjoying it so uh, thanks for watching and we will see you on a muddy field very soon bye